What's up you guys, it's Cody, and today I'm gonna be using one of my favorite plugins to show you how I demo songs. Now this plugin is called Easy Drummer, and I use it on absolutely everything. It's great for helping you demo out songs with MIDI drums, and even add percussion like tambourine and shaker to your mixes. I was messing around with a little guitar riff today and started demoing it out, and so I thought I'd start from scratch and show you my process of demoing, and how I use Easy Drummer to help fill out these sounds. As always guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to click subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any new videos that I post. All right, so let's jump into Pro Tools here. First thing I'm gonna do, is create a couple new tracks and lay down my rhythm guitar. Now something I like to do when I'm making rhythms is I always double it on my demos. I have one panned hard left and one panned hard right. I find it just helps fill out the sound a little bit. So let's check it out. All right, and let's double that up on the other side. All right, so here's what we got. Sweet. So it is a little sloppy in parts, but it's just a demo. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just getting down the parts, you don't want to lose that creative flow when you're into it. So let's do the lead riff now. So when I'm coming up with the lead guitar tone, I, I like to use something different from the rhythms. Um, everything I'm running right now is just going through the Kemper, and I have a couple really cool presets that I like to use. It just makes it easier when I'm going through. I don't have to cycle through a ton of guitar tones. I'll just use my default rhythm and my default lead. Obviously, when it comes down to tracking the songs, I'm going to do something a little different. But again, it's just a demo. We're just trying to get the ideas out. Awesome, let's give that a listen, see where we're at. Sweet, I think that sounded great so far. It's a good start. Obviously some things might change as we go, but I think this is a great starting place to start adding some drums. Quickly color coat these because organization is key. So Easy Drummer is a MIDI instrument. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is create a MIDI track. In Pro Tools, I'm gonna create an instrument track. It might be different in your DAW, but you're gonna wanna create a MIDI track or an instrument track or something similar to that. Anything that will host the program. All right, so let's pull it up here. Easy Drummer. All right, so this is what it looks like when opening it up. Uh, looks like a drum kit to me. Quite, quite a massive drum kit. Definitely don't need all those parts. Uh, so the first thing is you can select different types of drum kits. There's tons in here. Um, metal is a super good sounding drum kit if you're looking for something a little more punchy. I really like the pop one. Yeah, that sounds like a drum kit to me. Now what you can even do is you can click on individual instruments on this drop down and you can change what they are. So if you want a different snare sound, it's really easy. Uh, this Vinnie Paul snare is one of my favorites, so let's go ahead and use that. So the great thing about Easy Drummer is you don't have to go in and manually program on all your drums. They have a really great sample library of different drum beats and grooves that you can choose from to help you start your production. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we don't want percussion, we want an actual drum beat, so let's click that. Um, and then kind of pop a rock, straight time, nothing to swing. And let's scroll through and, uh, and listen to some, see what we got. That's not bad, but I was thinking of something uh, with a crash more so. Let's go through here. Uh, not quite, not quite. Oh yeah. I like that one, that fits really well. So what you can do is you can do it all right within Easy Drummer itself as a standalone. So if I drop that to the third beat, which is where our song starts. It will play right along from there. 
But what I like to do is I like to actually drop the MIDI down into Pro Tools myself, and then I can go in and change the individual drum beats on their own. I don't have to do it through Easy Drummer. It's all just MIDI through Pro Tools. So let's go ahead and remove that from there and jump into it in Pro Tools. Cool, so first thing I wanna do is even out some of these kicks. They just are a little too dynamic for me, so I'm just gonna raise them all up a little bit and make them a little more, little more even between them all. Second thing I'm gonna do is select all these snare drum hits, and I wanna make them all rim shot so that it really, really has some smack coming through. So I'm just gonna drag them up until I find that rim shot sound. Let's give that a go. I like that better already. Now there were a few kick changes. I love where all the snares land. I just wanna change some of the kicks. So let's, let's move those around really fast. So this one, I want it to be an offbeat kick. And then I want that one to be three of them. Awesome, I think that's sounding great. Uh, I think this just needs a bit of a lead up to it. Obviously it's only a section of a song, but I still want it to sound natural when it comes in. It's gonna help me when I'm listening back to it and coming up with more ideas. So let's start with a hi-hat count in. And then we'll go a kick snare. Yeah, that already has a much better feel to it. Awesome, so let's give this drum groove a listen. Wicked, now let's jump into Easy Drummer itself and see what kind of tweaks we can make to make the drum sound a little more natural. So let's jump into the mixer and try to balance this out a little bit better. I think the cymbals are a little too loud, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the overheads a bit. Awesome, that's already a bit better. Now the great thing is you can mix this whole kit together right from within the plugin. So you don't need to send things out. It's, it's really great and easy to use, and they even have built-in EQ and dynamics. Let's play around with those really quick. Awesome, I don't think that sounded too bad at all. Um, I'm not nuts about the snare we chose. Maybe we can see if we can find a different one. Let's try that one out. Now it's still not sitting quite right for me, so one really cool thing that you can do is you can bust these all out to individual channels if you want. So I'm gonna send our snare out through output two, and then in Pro Tools, I'm gonna to create a new auxiliary track for that snare to come back in on. So now that it's sending out through two, you won't hear it through Easy Drummer. Instead, we're gonna hear it on this auxiliary track. Call that snare. We'll bring it in from the plugin on channel two, because that's where we sent it to. And now we have that snare coming in right here. So we're able to pull up an EQ.
cool. So if you want to make any adjustments to your drums individually, this is a super fun and easy way to do it. You can just send it out and then you can make all your tweaks to the individual drums themselves. I'm going to go ahead and revert that because it, it didn't sound too bad. And remember, this is just a demo. We're not using this on final production. This is just to help add some energy and add some life. Now one thing that Easy Drummer doesn't do incredibly well is their compression is a little weird and you, you can tell that they are programmed drums to a certain extent. So I like to do a few things just to just to help balance them out a little bit. Uh, this is a great plugin for drums. They, they actually have a lot of really great presets and I'll normally just start with a preset and tweak from there. The great thing about presets is they're kind of dialed in for whatever you set it already and it's, it's a great starting point for you to start making tweaks from there. So let's, let's check this out. Okay, so that's clearly way too much compression, so we're going to back that off a little bit. Let's listen without the drums and just see what this five minutes of adding drums to our song sounds like. Boring. It's just not the same. Now I think doing something like this when you're trying to send a song to one of your bandmates and you want to get them excited about what you've been working on, I think just taking the extra 10 or 15 minutes to add drums to it, and this isn't something you have to build from scratch, Easy Drummer has such a great list of grooves and I mean just look at them all. If I take off some of these presets, there's, there's just tons of them. There's so, so many. And they're so easy to adjust and manipulate to make them sound exactly how you want. So I think doing something like this and spending the time will not only make your song sound better to you and a little easier creatively, but when you send them to somebody else, it's, it's gonna feel more like a song than if you're just sending over guitars. Now this isn't restricted to just demos either. I've mixed a lot of songs where we've, we haven't recorded drums at all. It's been entirely programmed. And if you take the time to really dial in some good drum tones and figure out exactly what you want your drums to sound like, you can make these sound quite natural and, and very similar to a live drum kit. Obviously it's not going to be exactly the same, but I think Easy Drummer does a really good job and as the name says, it is so, so easy to use. I'd highly recommend it. It's well worth the purchase. It's, it's seriously one of my favorite plugins. I don't know if I ever open up um, a recording session or a writing session and don't end up using it because the, the possibilities are just endless with it. It's so cool. Let me show you one more really great feature with it that I like. Easy Drummer has really, really great shaker and tambourine sounds and they're so easy to use. I seriously use this on probably everything I work on. So all I'm going to do is duplicate this track. Now check out how easy this is to use. Go to percussion, select what you want. I want the tambourine. I want it in straight time. And I'm looking for 16ths with the accent on the snares, which is on 2 and 4. Where is it? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. So this one I will use in... Uh, this one I will use easy, this one I will use in Easy Drummer itself. I find it runs a little bit smoother if you keep everything within the program and it doesn't have to read through Pro Tools. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Hold Option to duplicate these over. Boom. And check this out. That's a great sound of tambourine, man, let me tell you. So we recorded our demo idea on the guitar and put it in and then started building the drums around it. We have a full drum groove for kind of a chorusy section, I think, here, and then some tambourine to help fill it up. So let's see what we came up with.
Wicked. That sounds great. That's something that I know I'm going to be proud to send to my bandmates or maybe to one of my friends to listen to or to my mom to tell her that I've been working on stuff. Now this only takes 10 or 15 minutes to do and it added so much to this demo that would have just been guitars without it. Now it sounds like it sounds like a song. This sounds like something that's that's ready to go just about. And I find that when you do this, it's gonna make the rest of the creative process so easier. Some people like to lay down all the music and then write the vocals and the lyrics on top of that. And if you're one of those people, this is definitely how you're gonna wanna do it. You can lay down your guitar part so fast and then come up with the drums on top of it, or maybe you wanna start with the drum groove, you have some idea in your head and then write guitars on top of it. This is the, this is the quickest way I know to do it miking up a drum kit and setting up drums and then trying to mix it and balance the drum kit to make it all sound good can be quite challenging. So Easy Drummer is a really quick and easy alternative to that. I think it's probably the most used plugin that I have. I, Like I said, I use it on absolutely everything. Now I know there's a lot of controversy about using program drums in the final recordings of your music. This is clearly a little different with demos, but I'm curious, what do you think about actually using a program like Easy Drummer in the final mix of your song? Is that something you're for or against? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like down below and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to finishing the song after I get a coffee refill. Have a good one. Peace.